Vuitton sweatshirt I'm wearing. I got signed by a couple of the uh, the cancer patients the other night. I went out to their um, fashion show night just briefly after practice last Wednesday and got to spend some time with some of those kids. Man, I just wanted to share a little, sp shed a little light on them, man. And you know they're the real they're the real heroes. So um, you know they're fighting the real battles and. Thought I'd wear this and try and try and spread some, spread the word about Buckeye Thon. You know, took down Penn State this week and they have like the, the biggest thon in the in the country and it's really cool what they do. But, you know, I think it'd be cool if we could make Buckeye Thon that big too. So, um, just wanted to shed some light on it. All right, awesome, thank you. Uh, Dave, go ahead. Will, um, I was going to ask this anyway, but this is a great example. You just seem like such a natural leader. Um, have you always been that way as you look back, or is that something you kind of had to like grow into? I, you know, I think. I would say a, a part of it is, you know, just personality. You know, I, I kind of like to be the, you know, the guy that kind of runs things a little bit. And I like to kind of have that authority over, you know, a group. And I, and I feel like some of that is personality a little bit. But I definitely wasn't like that, you know, maybe my freshman year of college. It took, it took a lot of years to kind of develop, you know, a sort of intrinsic confidence and a sort of um, sense of, you know, self self-righteousness and, and, and just kind of a, you know, sense of self-security. And it takes years to develop that. But once you kind of develop that and you're, you're comfortable in yourself and, and you're confident enough to believe in yourself no matter what happens, um, you know, I feel like that just allows you to play free and, and play for your brothers. And that's something I've always wanted to do is like, listen, man, like, this is bigger than me. You know, it's not, it's not a one person thing. You know, it's not about me here. You know, I don't care if I, play my worst game if we win like that's all that matters and you know that's that's kind of how I want to approach the game and that's how I want my teammates to know me and that's just kind of the way that I want to approach it and and being a leader I feel like is just kind of being yourself and and um, you know I don't think you have to necessarily do anything or, or be anything you just got to be yourself and be real and um, you know if you're if you're real and, and if you're genuine um, you know, people are going to want to follow you, and and you know, I've been fortunate enough to, you know, this, this this team has has rallied around me really well, and and we just have such good high high quality character guys, and I, I wouldn't want to be a, t a a part of any other team, and I'm I'm so blessed to be here, and and uh, blessed to be you know in the position of a, a leader on this team. Yeah, thank you. you. Did it take you to not try to take that very last run, the distance? Took some self-control, for sure. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, you know, we, we talk about all the time, you know, that situation and, and, and downtime, you know, first down, get down kind of situation. Um, because, you know, you don't, you don't want to allow them to, you know, if something crazy happens. I think it was UNC App State last year. You know, they went down and, and scored with like a minute or so left. And App State went down, scored, onside kick, score again to win the game. Like, you never know what's going to happen. So as much as I would have loved to take in a, you know, a 40 yard house call on that last play, um, you know, it's better to win the game. And, you know, as much as probably could have gotten a couple more yards out of it and stat pad it a little bit, but I wasn't thinking about that in the moment, you know, just, just get down, get the win. To be able to, to use your legs in those moments, we've talked about you this year, but when you guys needed the plays the most, you used your legs. How how important is that for you guys moving forward that you showed that you're going to be a great Yeah, it's big. You know, I feel like we talk about, you know, in these matchup games, in these big games, especially on the road, like my my legs are going to become a, a big piece. And, you know, when it when it when the game's on the line, when it comes down to it, like that's when, you know, things happen. And, and you know, if, if a guy gets out of his gap or undisciplined or whatever, then I'm going to pull the ball. And I feel like... It just makes it so much harder to defend us as a team, and, and we're more able to do that in those clutch situations. And you know, we, we ran the ball 11 times. I don't think I carried the ball. I don't think I pulled the ball on on any of those you know kind of inside zone type plays until that last play. And you know that. So you can't you can't do it without having successful downhill run plays. But you know, it's keep being able to keep them honest every once in a while. And you know, me being willing and ready to use my legs, you know, in those in those big moments is is big. Right next door, Cameron. Well, what, what did you think the off the line proved in that game, especially when you look at Carson dying, moving positions five, six days before a big game like that? I can't say enough amazing things about those guys and, and the way that they stepped up 
and took on the challenge because they were hearing it, man. I mean, we all we, we all felt it, you know. They were they were hearing the fl the flack that they were getting. You know, we couldn't run the ball against Nebraska, and um, you know, obviously, you know, that's that's a that's a team thing. You know, that's not just the O line. That's that's everybody. Um, and you know, we we looked at it. And we said, you know what, we're going to go physically impose our will on these guys. And I think we did that. And, you know, I think, you know, Donnie moving out to left tackle for the first time, I don't think he's ever played tackle. Like, that was unbelievable going against a guy like Abdul Carter, like, who's a hell of a player. And to, to you know, play as, you know, it wasn't perfect, but to play as good as he did, like, I mean, unbelievable. And, and Carson to never play guard, you know, to come in like that. I mean, he's played a lot of football. So, you know, we all had the, all the trust in the world in him, but he played unbelievable. I think Tegra did a really good job. I think Seth played a hell of a game. Josh Fryer, like, those guys, they proved themselves right, you know, and they, they'd been hearing it. They wanted to prove everybody wrong, but they, they proved themselves right on Saturday. Talk about imposing your will. Like, it's an attitude thing. How does that feed to the rest of the team? I mean, you talk about Hugh and Troy laid two, some blocks for you in your run game that was that were big in there as well. How does that feed to everybody? As well? it, it's It's – it's very contagious, and when you're physical, downhill, running the ball, especially on the road, that takes the air out of a defense, man. You can, you can see it. You can watch on that last drive. You can just tell. Like, I don't, I don't think they really believed that they were going to stop us, especially after we come out and take a quarterback sneak for five yards. I mean, you know, that, that, that deflates you as a defense. That's not a good feeling when you get 11 plays, run the ball right at you like that. It, it's it's deflating, man, and it, it's inflating for an offense and for a team. You know, it's like you 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 go out there and it's just you, you know that you're going to get five six yards on every carry, and it 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 really makes you feel good, and you know it, it gets you into good situations and into second and shorts and where you can take shots, and then and then third and shorts where you can get a little more creative, and they don't know if you're going to run or pass, and it's just overall when you're able to run the ball and impose your will like that and, and play as physical as, and downhill as we did up front, hard to stop. Yeah, Coach Day was saying that uh, you have a real knack in moving on from play to play. If you have a bad play, you're just on to the next. Is that something you've always had? Is that a wiring you issue? Has it evolved over your career? Did you used to be oh, just okay at it or bad at it? I, I would say I was bad at it my freshman and sophomore year, to be honest with you. Um, and I, I just felt it so many times because I, I think my freshman year, 2020, I threw like eight touchdowns, 10 or 11 picks, just was struggling, turning the ball over, and I just didn't know how to turn it around, you know. And, and when I finally realized that, you know, how important that next play after that pick is. And that was, yeah, I think it was really my junior year I figured that out. I think the first time I really experienced it was it was at West Virginia in 2022. It was a cold game. I threw a pick six against them early in the game, bad read, just threw a pick six. And nobody said anything to me. And this was a kind of probably the first time that nobody had really said anything to me at K-State after a pick. And they were just like, let me alone. And I just went around to the whole offense. I was like, we're fine. You know, don't worry about it. Next play, they came out and we ran like a deep corner route on, off, of a, off of a sprint out to the field. And when I felt like, oh, they're still believing in me, they're still throwing the ball. And I went out there and ripped it. And it was like one of my best throws and, of the day. And, you know, when, when I, that moment happened, that was kind of the turning point where I was like, man, like, it's really about how you approach it and how you respond from it. And I threw a pick six early in the game. and. I threw, I think, a pick six at, at West Virginia my freshman year, and I ended up throwing three picks that day. We lost. But in that game against West Virginia in 2022, after that pick six, I bounced back and threw like two touchdowns and, and had a great game. You know, and it's, I was like, man, you know, the, the two games started kind of the same, but they ended differently. Like, how did I, I looked back and I was like, how did I approach that differently? I was just like, I just said, screw it, move on, and, and didn't really let it affect my confidence. And, you know, it, it took, taking some hits and taking some, you know, some lumps early in my career. But once I was able to kind of work through that, I was like, man, you know, it's all about how you respond. And it's the next play after that bad play. Because as much as I'd love to go back and, and change that play, you can't. You can't do it. And so you just got to move on and you got to make it right. And, you know, I think I've gotten better at that. Um, I still could be better, you know, of course. but. Um, you know, I've just I've just played a lot of ball and seen a lot, and so 
I feel like not that much phases me anymore. Is this something you've done on your own, or have you had external help, whether it's a sports psychologist, a coach? Definitely a little bit of, yeah, definitely a little bit of all that. You know, I've worked with sports psychologists. I work with Sharon here. She's great. Um, my mom's big on that. Like, she's always, like, you know, instilled in me, like, your, your mental preparation is just as important as your physical preparation. And that's something I think I understood a little more when I came here is that, you know, I want to get my body ready and have my body ready for the game and, and do my recovery. But, you know, what, what am I doing to recover my, my brain? And how am I, you know, whether that's, you know, taking some time to get away from the game a little bit, maybe after the game and, and you know, having some escapes, but also being able to, you know, just have a, have a sense of security and, and not, because when I was young, you know, I used to make a mistake and say, man, like, am I that good? Am I good enough? And now it's like, I am, you know, I, I believe that I am. And when you, when you believe that and when you don't let one play shake who you are, you know, I think my faith has helped a lot with that. You know, I think just, you know, playing for a bigger purpose, you know, it helps you move past, um, you know, obstacles like that. And, you know, my trust in the Lord and, and just saying, you know, I know you got a plan for me. And I think that's been a huge help for me, too. Got time for two more. Austin, yeah. It looked like, Will, on Saturday that you know, the offense was more engaged when the defense was on the field with them and support, same vice versa for the defense to the offense. Like the energy looked different. I don't know if it felt that way to you, if there was something that you guys did differently as a team. That's just the way it looked. If, if yeah, yeah. It, it felt like that for sure. I don't know, you know, I don't know if it, if it was the, you know, the big game, you know, big atmosphere. You know, I, I knew that we, you know, we, we preached during the week, you know, like this is it's a big game, you know, it's a, it was a crossroads for us. And, and, you know, it could kind of make or break our season a little bit. And as much as we didn't really want to say that, you know, it's kind of true. Um, you know, and we knew that. And we, I think we took that and we said, you know, I think we kind of learned from that Nebraska game a little bit. We were a little flat, you know, coming off that Oregon, you know, off the bye week. We, you know, I think we kind of took some things for granted, especially offensively. Um, but we came out in that Penn State game and, and realized, I think it was kind of a kickstart for us, that Nebraska game, honestly, like kind of showed us like, man, we can't, we can't come out with a no energy, no matter who it is, you know, we have to have energy and, and create it for ourselves because, you know, there's no way to manufacture energy, especially on the field other than bring, by bringing it yourself. We'll wrap it up with Bill. You came here to win a national championship. That's been the team's motto. Um, obviously, the quarterback's got to be a big part of that. You had some really nice plays on Saturday. You had some plays on, I know you won, you won back. Um, I'm curious what you saw in the interception. But the bigger question is how confident are you that you are the guy to lead the team to a championship, a national championship, that, you, that you've got everything that's required to do that? Um, I mean, I'm very confident, um, you know, at this point in the season, you know, if I were to sit here and say that I wasn't confident, I feel like that'd be a, that'd be a pretty big problem. Um, <laughs> I, I'm very confident, um, you know, and that's, that's just because, you know, I trust in my training and I trust in, in the Lord and his plan for me. I trust in my teammates and, you know, at the end of the day, man, you know, what, what, what God's will is will, will happen. And, but at the end of the day, man, I'm, I'm going to go out there and, and give it my all. And I know that I have what it takes to get it done. Um, you know, I didn't, I didn't play my best game against Penn State, but you now I feel like I do play well. I, I think, you know, maybe I let the emotions get the most of me a little bit at, at some points. Um, but at the end of the day, man, like I, I came here for, you know, for one big reason, and that's to win a national championship. And, um, you know, that's still ahead of us. And, I'm, you know, I'm thrilled about this win. But, you know, at this point, we're past it. You know, it's just a stepping stone and, and what we needed to do to stay on the trajectory, you know, to get to where we want to get. Um, but, man, I, I, I believe in myself and my abilities because, you know, I got, I got the best supporting cast in the country. And, um, you know, I, I, uh, I'm, I'm humble. You know, I try to stay humble and, and, and you know, just believe that I, you know, I, I got to keep working and keep getting better. But... You know, I think that's the encouraging thing, too, is that, you know, I feel like I've played pretty good football this year, but also I haven't played my best, you know, and I think that's still out in front of me. What did you or not see on that? Uh, you know, they, they kind of played a different kind of coverage over Mech and Jeremiah. They really did like a kind of a cone-ish coverage in and out. So it kind of started off looking a little bit like man. I thought it was man. You know, they kind of in and outed it. Kid made a good play, jumped the route. Should have probably just gotten backside, worked my dig concept to the backside. Um, Tried to force something early in the game, and 
back to bite me. And, you know, again, that, you know, whether that was the, you know, the excitement, the emotions, just trying to make something happen, you know, rather than letting it happen. Um, yeah, that was, that was kind of what I saw, but, um, you know, got to learn from it. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you guys. Go Bucks.